What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 3. And today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the latest Pixel Express ROM on this device. So here in the Android version, as you can see, this is based on Android 10 of course. And the security patch is latest of June 5th, 2020. And the stock kernel here is the bloody mod kernel 69 it says. And in the build number, you can see this is the 27th June 2020 build of this Pixel Experience Plus ROM on this Redmi Note 3 or Kenzo. And this is a beta build, not an official build yet. But let me show you what's in there. So here is how the system panel look like. And over here, we do not have any system updater, of course, because this is a beta build again. And in the status bar section, we have some customizations. So in the network traffic indicator, we have this auto height kind of thing. And you can customize the network traffic indicator, which I have over there. Let me go back and in the system icons, we have the headset, Bluetooth, etc. icons over here. And we have the clock position changing option. You can set it to right, left or center. And I have changed it to center. And here we have the show seconds and AM, PM style. If you want to change these. And then we have the battery status style, circle, text, etc. And then we have the battery percentage. You can change it to next to the icon or something just like this. And we have the brightness slider. You can have it show when expanded or show always, or you can choose it to be never shown. And here we have the brightness control, so you can adjust the brightness just by sliding a finger on the status bar. This feature, in my opinion, is really, really cool. And you can use it on your daily basis. And I use it, I really like it. And we have the quick pull down changing option to right or left. And then tile visibility and column and row number customization is there. Then we have the quick setting style like flip or rotate, etc. Let me go back to the buttons. Here we have the force fingerprint authentication, which means it has the always unlock with the fingerprint scanner. And that is an amazing feature. You do not have to enter your pin every time you reboot your device. So that's one really cool thing. And here we have the enable show search bar and stuff. Then you can like, of course, enable the Android 10 screen, whole screen or full screen gesture. As you can see, this feature is there and it does work. And when you use this feature, this capacitive buttons will be totally disabled. It won't work when you have this thing enabled. So let me disable it again because I want to use the capacity button so that I don't use this screen over here. And let me scroll down from here in the power menu. We have the screenshot, then the airplane mode and lockdown. Yes, inside power menu, we do not get the advanced reboot because that you will get inside the developer options, which I'll show you later on. Here we have the end call with power button and then disable on lock screen. You can disable the like power menu on the lock screen and long press for torch is there and this feature is working flawlessly. Then we have the answer call, control playback and stuff like that. You can change the backlight of these capacity buttons to like how many seconds you want. I set it to 15 seconds. Then we have the long press action of like the home button. As you can see, you can change the recent button long press action too. So that's really, really cool. In the gestures, we have the swipe to screenshot. And let me show you, this is the Asus kind of screenshot and it shows this like kind of edit and share and long screenshot and delete option. Let me go back and it is really interesting that we are running Pixel Experience Plus on this Redmi Note 3. That is amazing. And we have the Gboard over here by default. So you won't need to worry about your privacy or something. Here, if I go into the developer options here, we have the advanced reboot. Okay, so right now here in the power menu, if I tap restart, as you can see, it shows the option to directly reboot to recover your fast boot or just the system. So that's really cool. And inside security, we also have the face unlock. Let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed first, then I'll show you the face unlock. And of course, as this is Pixel Experience Plus ROM, we do have the double tap to sleep on the status bar. Now, let me unlock with the fingerprint scanner. And as you can see, it unlocked. Let's double tap on the status bar again. And as you can see, it unlocked. So let's try one more time. And as you can see, the fingerprint scanner speed is pretty fast. Let me show you the face unlock. So seems like it's done with the setup of the face unlock. Let's just double tap on the status bar and double tap over here. And as you can see, it unlocked. Let's do it again. Holy smokes, the face unlock speed is really fast too over here. No issues with this Pixel Experience Plus from I guess, even on this old device, which is running great. Let me double tap and unlocked. Really, really fast unlocking speed here, even with face unlock. Now, let me show you the stock launcher to the left. We, of course, have this Google's Discover page. Just in case you guys wanted to see these widgets and stuff are actually working fine here. So in the home screen, you won't be having any problems with the widgets. 
swiping up gets you to the app drawer and swiping down gets you to this like quick settings panel of course and in terms of this quick settings panel we have screen recorder and stuff and here let me show you we have the volume panel and stuff these are all the quick toggles you can add and then we have some more the fps info is not there but there is the always on display if you want it for some reason even though this is a like ips display so yeah you can use the always on display too if you want it and the screen recorder actually does work you can of course disable the heads up if you want to hotspot and stuff is there and here is how the stock launcher looks like in the settings and as you can see this is the pixel launcher present by default of course and the whole ui seems to be really really smooth now let me show you the stock camera this is the google camera go edition and it is awesome i i mean it's working pretty fine it is showing how much like how many pictures it can take right now over here with the storage it has and if you if you switch the video mode it will show like for how long it can shoot this actually shoots a 720p video by the way and the pictures are 16 megapixel i guess so yeah and even with the front camera and stuff you can shoot let me show you as you can see the front camera is actually working fine and you can even take a portrait picture let me quickly take one and it does make that sound let me show you this is how the picture looks like well pretty fine i guess and in terms of the settings you get like this kind of settings over here and we have the face enhance option i have enabled it and then we have the hdr option you can put it to non hdr or auto hdr or hdr on so that's it you cannot go into much settings i guess there is also this translate option but i'm not really sure if it works and in this stock camera there is this like zooming thing this camera is really cool and i really really am loving it as a stock camera at least let me quickly take a picture of this plant over here and yeah it does look really cool now let me talk about the calling stuff well here with the first sim slot the volte is actually working but with the second sim slot the volte is not working and there is no call recording option over here the stock dialer only shows video calling option so yeah and there is also the Wi-Fi calling option, so that's really really cool. And Volte again only works on the first SIM slot. And the flashlight and stuff is actually working as you can see. Now let me go into the battery settings. This is how it looks like. Here we have the screen on time, last full charge, and then we have the battery percentage and stuff. Battery saver is there, so that's cool. And then adaptive battery option is there. To check the full usage, you cannot tap here. You have to tap on the three dots. Then you go battery usage, and then you can see the battery usage. The battery life will be good enough if your battery itself is good like the battery hardware actually is good so yeah i think you can get four to five hours of screen on time easily on this rom as this is pixel experience in the display settings we have the brightness level and you can like change it from here too and dark theme is there you can schedule it if you want to and dark theme is actually working fine then we have the night light option and you can use it if you want to let me go back we have the adaptive or auto brightness here this actually does work in the live display we do not see anything it shows blank and then we have the styles and wallpapers we have this kind of themes and you can choose a custom theme just like this and from here you can change the accent colors as you can see you can change between these eight colors but yes there is not much of the accent colors present by default at least only these eight preset colors over here are present okay so in this wallpaper section there are some live wallpapers like this i have downloaded some like this one but they are not applying for some reason i don't know why but you can apply the wallpapers from here this pixel section and let me show you as you can see if i select home screen right now as you can see it did apply but if i select any other live wallpaper just like this one if i select this set as wallpaper right now if i select home screen as you can see it did not apply so yeah you can select the like normal wallpapers but the live wallpapers are not actually applying and you can change the screen timeout from here and then rotation settings is there also 180 degree and stuff is there then we have the font size display size and the screen saver and stuff then in the lock screen display we also have the always on display over here again so that's really cool let me go back we have the double tap to wake and double tap to sleep as well so that's cool the double tap to wake and double tap to sleep both are working fine so no issues you can disable wake up on plug if you want to there is there is also this vr kind of settings over here let me go back to the sounds and here if i go advanced we do not have the me audio direct but i'm fine with it there is also this vibrate to indicate call status and stuff 
touch sounds touch vibration you can enable that if you want to vibrate for calls are there and the haptic feedback with this capacity buttons are actually working fine now let me talk about the other things like i have tested this led rgb remote app for the ir cluster present on the device and that is actually working flawlessly here no issues that i could find with this ir cluster it is working great even the rgb light you are seeing in the background is turned on with this device also the notification led while charging is actually working fine here the safety net status fails over here so yeah we cannot do much about it out of the box yes the safety net status does fail so you cannot use banking apps like google pay or something right out of the box on this rom but yes you can try magic hide and with that it might work now while talking about magic and stuff let me tell you how did i flash the rom it was really simplistic i will put the link of this rom in the description box below just download that rom and i am assuming that you are on the latest miui firmware over here if you are not just flash the latest global firmware if you have the global device and after that i will recommend you guys using the latest orange fox recovery so here as you can see i have used this r10.1 underscore 01 orange fox recovery you can use the other latest versions too if they are available but i have used this one and this one worked totally fine and with this recovery you just go to wipe select dalvi data system and cache four of these things again dalvi cache system data and just swipe to wipe and after that once that wiping is done you just go to your download folder and select the rom file itself and swipe to confirm flash and then you can reboot to system it is really really simplistic you do not even need g apps because this is pixel experience plus and it includes the g apps there are also very few apps pre-installed over here which is like this firefox light and stuff and they should work fine and now i do not have anything in the memory over here so let's just open some of the apps and show you guys the app of speeds and the ram management here let's open clock this google home now let's open this led rgb remote app play store youtube now let's open this record app by google and here i'll do one thing i'll start a recording and as you can see it is already transcripting the audio so this is really cool i'll put it in the background let's open the other apps which i have opened already like this google home app and this led rgb remote app play store and youtube even though this is a 3gb ram variant it is keeping all the apps in memory yes it is not the fastest experience but yes it is quite fast considering this device is quite old now let me open this and as you can see it is still transcripting my audio whichever i am saying so this is really really amazing that redmi note 3 is holding up really well even with android 10 right now in 2020 and like in june of 2020 this is just amazing i'll just stop this as you can see it is still like recording the audio over here this is really really cool and here are the benchmarks on this rom so that's been it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet and we just crossed 22,000 subscribers mark so huge thanks to each and everyone who did subscribe and who haven't yet please do it helps my channel out this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye now